Hello viewers. Today I will talk about some multiple choice questions on organic photochemistry. As I have said in my earlier class on the full course of photochemistry that I will be coming with some more multiple choice questions and also in another video I will bring some uh, problems on photochemistry and with their solutions. So this topic which I will talk today is very important for students who are going to appear for JEE or NEET or IIT JAM, GATE, CSI, NET and also for conventional UG and PG chemistry students as well. So this, uh, so let's see about the multiple choice questions that we are to study today. First, a photochemical reaction, this is a fill in the blank type question. A photochemical reaction is space light. Now we need to fit in the options into the blank space so as to have a correct sentence okay so let's see so if we start with the option a that a photochemical reaction is initiated by light if we choose option b it is accompanied with the emission of light c catalyzed by light and option d used to convert heat energy into light so the right phrase or right option here should be a initiated by light second option question is what is the most important thing in photochemical reaction inevitably the answer is a little bit easier in the, this case and that should be option d the light next comes which diagram illustrates the electronic states of a molecule and the transition between them so this is a very important question regarding to the principles of photochemistry and the correct answer should be option A, Jablonski diagram. Next comes when the transition between states of the same multiplicity occurs, the process is called. So we need to focus or you need to understand the sentence first that here the transition between the states of the same multiplicity occurs. So same multiplicity is important here and in the photochemical transitions or electronic transitions in the photochemical reactions this the transition between states of the same multiplicity is known as internal conversion so option c is the right answer here fifth question is liquid benzene when react with gaseous chlorine in sunlight will produce options are a chlorobenzene b hexachlorobenzene c trichlorobenzene and d none of them the right answer for this question is option b hexachlorobenzene next comes which of the following transition is the highest transition in any given organic molecule so this is here i'm talking about the energy difference or energy gap between the transitions options options are a sigma to sigma star b pi to pi star c non-bonding to pi star and d non-bonding to sigma star now we need to understand the lowest energy level in an electronic transition is to be a sigma bond level and the highest should be the sigma star so the the, the correct answer should be option a sigma to sigma star the concerted photochemical reaction between two olefins leading to a cyclobutane ring is a options are sigma 2s plus sigma 2s cycloaddition pi 2s pi 2a cycloaddition pi 2s sigma 2a cycloaddition or pi 2s pi 2s cycloaddition now the answer is within the question that two olefins leading to a cyclobutane ring so it has to be option d right answer that pi 2s plus pi 2s cycloaddition next come a very important question or topic regarding the photochemistry that is paternobuchi reaction here the question is paternobuchi reaction is basically options are 2 plus 2 cycloaddition of carbonyl compound to alkene option b 2 plus 2 cycloaddition of alkene to alkene option c 4 plus 2 cycloaddition of alkene to alkene d 4 plus 2 cycloaddition of carbonyl compound to alkene now Paternobuchi reaction is a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition of carbonyl compound to alkene. So option A is the right answer here. Next comes the addition of oxygen to anthracene 
in presence of light is known as which type of reaction is it is is it a nourish type 1 reaction or nourish type 2 reaction or photochemical oxidation or photochemical reduction the right answer is this is a photochemical oxidation reaction next question is the 10th one which of the following is an example of photochemical reaction options are formation of NOH B photosynthesis C decomposition of HCl and D decomposition of ammonia now among the four options option B is the right answer that photosynthesis is an example of photochemical reaction next the fact that the fluorescence wavelength is often much longer than the irradiation wavelength is a consequence of which phenomenon there are four associated phenomena that are associated with electronic transitions mentioned here first option a is low extinction coefficients option b the frank condon principle option c vertical transitions and option d high rate of inter-system crossing now here if we know the frank condon principle it states that the electron transitions occur much faster than uh, the nuclei can respond so in that case the uh, the irradiation uh, i mean related to the question the right answer should be option b the frank condon principle next is which regions of the light radiations of the visible ultraviolet lying between wavelength are chiefly concerned in bringing out photochemical reactions which wavelength is associated with uh, the photochemical reactions here now the right op option is option d 8000 angstrom to 2000 angstrom the range of wavelength of the irradiation photochemical irradiation next question is knowledge type 2 reaction involves the options are cationic intermediate biradical intermediate anionic intermediate or monoradical intermediate now we know that in knowledge type 2 reaction the carbonyl compound first first the carbonyl group dissociate homoradically cleaved to form the radicals and then the gamma hydrogen is abstract so here the biradical intermediate is the right answer so option b is the right answer here next is the quantum efficiency of a photochemical reaction is defined as options are a number of molecules decomposed in a given time b number of quanta absorbed per minute number of molecules irradiated in a given time or option d ratio of molecules decomposed in a given time to the number of quanta absorbed in the same time so option d is the right answer of this question regarding the quantum efficiency of a photochemical reaction 15th one is which of the following are the reactions in which molecules absorbing light do not themselves react but induce other molecules to react this is very important one the options are free radical reactions option b photosensitized reactions option c chain reactions and option d reversible reactions now the current the correct answer is option b photosensitized reactions next comes formation of vitamin d is a substitution reaction photochemical process reversible process or none of these so obviously this is to be option b photochemical process next is the vision is initiated by a photochemical reaction of hydrogen chloride rhodopsin mercaptan enzymes now the correct answer is the rhodopsin option b next comes in knowledge type 2 reaction photochemical intramolecular abstraction of which hydrogen takes place couple of slides back i have talked about that and the options are gamma hydrogen beta hydrogen alpha hydrogen or delta hydrogen so the right answer should be option a the gamma hydrogen abstraction takes place in knowledge type 2 reaction again the pattern of reaction involves options are four membered oxygen rings five membered furan rings option c is cyclopropane ring or option d cyclobutane ring 
So the right answer is that in Paternobuchi reaction, the, the intermediate that is formed is a four-membered oxygen ring. So option A is the right answer here. The 20th question is, autophorized rearrangement is reaction of which of the following options to a hydroxyaryl ketone? Now let's read out the options. It's cyclic ketone, B phenolic ester, C allylic ether, or none of the above. So the right answer should be that the photophorized rearrangement is a reaction of a phenolic ester to a hydroxyaryl ketone. So option B is the right answer. Next one is another important photochemical reaction and this is about the Burton reaction. The question is Burton reaction involves and options are the photolysis of an alkyl nitrite to form a delta nitroso alcohol. Option B, the photolysis of an alkyl nitrite to form an ester. Option C, the photolysis of an ester to form a delta nitroso alcohol. And option D, none of the above. Now, if you have gone through my earlier video regarding the full course of photochemistry, I have uh, elaborately explained about that reaction. And uh, sometimes it is also uh, called that the photo uh, in Barton reaction is the nitrite ester reaction. Okay, and here the RONO cleavage proceeds and the delta hydrogen abstraction takes place. Further, the free radical recombination, recombination occurs and uh, it forms the delta nitroso alcohol. So, combining all these facts, option A is supposed to be the right answer for this question and the, that should be the photolysis of an alkyl nitrite to form a delta nitroso alcohol. Next comes in photochemical reactions, absorptions of which type of radiations takes place? Options are radio, option B, only visible, option C, visible and x-rays, and option D, ultraviolet and visible. The right answer to be option D, ultraviolet and visible radiations takes place in photochemical reactions. Next one is associated with the principle of photochemistry and that is which of the following are the principal laws of photochemistry. Options are A. Grothas Draper and Stark Einstein law. Option B. Raoult's and Dalton's law. Option C. Raoult's and Henry's law. And option D. Lambert's Beer's law. So this is to be option A. The Grothas Draper and Stark Einstein law the basic principles of photochemistry. Next comes which type of electronic transition can be seen in saturated aldehydes and ketones. Options are sigma to sigma star, option B n to sigma star, option C n to pi star and pi to pi star and option D only pi to pi star. Now we know that in aldehyde and ketone the both kind of transition like pi to pi star and n to pi star is possible. So option C is the right answer here. The last question of this set one is phosphorescence is best represented as and the options or the electronic transitions are option A, S1 to S0 plus emission of light, option B, T1 to S0 plus emission of light, option C, T1 to S0 plus emission of heat, option D T1 S1 to T1 plus emission of heat. Now we know that the phosphorescence is related to the transition of uh, the, the, the electronic transition what happens from T1 to S0 and it uh, with the along with the emission of light. So option B that is the transition from T1 to S0 plus H nu or light will be the correct answer. So option B is the correct answer. So thank you for your uh, patience and watching TG Chemistry. Keep watching my channel and if you like the videos, please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications for further videos from my channel. Thank you.